Once again, I'm telling you before you go there to apply, do not rely on this video alone, but check all the requirements online because they may, may have changed. <laughs> Hello everybody and hello to all my favoritos. Welcome back to the channel. For all those who are new to the channel, hey, my name is David, aka Dablorito. A -A -A. In today's video, I will be talking about the requirements and the paperwork that my wife and I had to go through for her to come to Germany. Background, I am a German citizen. My wife is a Filipina citizen. We got married in the Philippines. If you're interested in that and want to know about the requirements, there should be a video linked up there. If not, check the description box down below. Then you can watch the that video on the requirements of getting married between a German and a Filipino citizen in the Philippines. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to bring the Filipino citizen, the Filipino side to Germany. Before we get to the requirements, I received several questions, DMs, comments on my previous video on this topic. I just want to emphasize once again, I am not a worker at the Philippine Embassy or the German Embassy. I am not an official source of information, okay? I am simply sharing what we had to submit during our time. So things may have changed and this is just to give you an idea and I hope it might help. But I urge you for personal questions and to get the proper information to contact the German Embassy directly i think that is the very best solution to all of your questions okay so first off after we got married we applied for a new filipino passport for my wife right away since we are now married and to make things easier you know for her to come to germany and to make sure that her passport already had my last name so that it would be just easier you know coming to germany and then not having to change things because the last name changed so yeah we applied with the new passport which had my family name already and then after that we registered our marriage in germany through the german embassy in the philippines which i originally planned on making a video before this one but i decided to not make a video anymore on that topic i will tell you at the end of this video in case that's of any interest but um yeah just for all those who are expecting this vid that video to come out that will no longer be made because of the reason that i'll tell you at the end of the video so i will break it down to you for the family reunion visa the documents that we needed and that you most probably will also need and this is for all applicants for the family visa so first of all you will need to fill out their application form for family reunion visa you have to do you have to fill out two of those you will have to bring the filipinos passport that they will be using that to travel to germany you will need three passport pictures of the applicant and then you will glue the the picture on the two application forms and then the third picture the back side you have to write your full name and your birthday with a clip on the passport then you will need the birth certificate of the applicant you need two copies of the national id of your german spouse So what we did is I gave a copy of my, my German passport and also my German ID, my Personalausweis, Vorder- und Rückseite. And also eine erweiterte Meldebescheinigung is what I gave my wife to submit, just to be sure. And these do not need to be authenticated. Simply two Xerox copies will be fine. Formal letter of inviting the Filipino to Germany. So you just have to write a letter saying that I am so-and-so and I live in so-and-so and I want to invite my wife to be with me so that we can be re reunited. That's why family reunion visa. Now, this might have changed, but in our time, 
the visa fee was 75 euros or 30 euros for minors but it is completely free if you're a german citizen and you're bringing your filipino spouse to germany it is for free so all of those are the general requirements for a family reunion visa now it depends to whom the filipino will be going to so i will now go through the requirements that my wife and i needed for her to come to germany as my spouse marriage certificate we had an original and then a psa copy that we brought and showed we will need a psa index certificate a senumar or psa crs form number five adv advisory of marriages we simply showed both because we had both <laughs> already um so we just showed both then we needed a german language certificate a one my wife did it and had her exam at goethe institute but what i have heard is that you don't no longer need the a1 um, language certificate Best check that out because that was not in that was not the case when we applied we needed it but apparently since 2023 you no longer need it so um yeah just double check that and you should be good that's actually all of it so you don't need as much additional things if you're going to apply for the family reunion visa as a spouse Then the next cases, I had to look them up on the German embassy's website because um, it didn't apply for us. I will just show you the screenshot. Let me tell you how we processed it once we had all of the papers, the, all of the requirements that we needed. Like I said earlier in this video, we registered our marriage in Germany first, or that was the plan. So what happened was we had to book an appointment at the German embassy online first. So you can't just walk in. So you had to apply first in, for an appointment and then they'll send you an email, tell you, okay, come on this day at this time. Just print out that email when you go to the embassy so that you have proof, you know, I have an appointment. After we had applied, we then had to wait six to eight weeks and then they emailed us um, or emailed my wife asking her to come in for an interview and I was not allowed to enter for that one. So only the applicant was invited to the embassy to go there for an interview and i remember my wife was at the embassy for so many hours i don't know if it it's always like that or if that was just the case when I, my wife went in she was one of the first to enter like right when the embassy opened that was her you know that was her slot so she went in very early and she came out already lunchtime <laughs> So it, it took a very long time. So in this interview, as of what I understand, is they ask background questions on your marriage. They already did the background check on my wife and me when we were still engaged and we were applying for, you know, all of the marriage paper stuff. They already had conducted this while we were applying for our marriage registration in germany they already asked me those questions um so now they were gonna ask her i suppose as of what my wife told me she just had to wait they came back it was a lot of waiting back and forth and then at the end they only asked her how we met so i don't know many are very nervous and scared about the interview part but all i can say is just answer the questions genuinely honestly and get to know your partner better i guess before this day comes then after the interview part they asked us if we want to or they asked my wife if she wants to pick up the the passport herself once the visa has been processed or if she wants it to be sent to her so what we did is we 
we already um, had a prepaid courier thing and she paid it there and after a few weeks I think yeah a few weeks later they said they sent us an email saying that the visa has been approved and that they will be sending her passport with the visa to her address total time of processing for the family reunion visa in our case was three months I've heard from some it went quicker for some it just took one month some even less than a month and then for some it took also longer six months one year several years depending if you have all the documents all the requirements and that's why once again i'm telling you before you go there to apply do not rely on this video alone but check all the requirements online because they may have, may have changed and for very specific personal questions individual questions don't ask me because i cannot tell you the answers but just contact the german embassy directly that should be your best option so yes So now, as promised, if you're interested about why I will not be making a video about registering our marriage in Germany anymore, the quick answer is because we decided at the end not to go through with it because of what happened. So where do I start? We applied and we had everything submitted that we needed for the registration of our marriage in Germany. There was one issue with her Senomar because her Senomar stated the full names of her parents also the middle name you know which is normal in the philippines but then on her birth certificate the middle name of her parents were not written out in full it i think was just the first letter in a period so that was an issue and we we didn't really know know why it happened it's probably because of the change because in the philippines there used to be a different system before psa so i guess when they transferred and changed all of the you know they changed up the system they made a mistake and they did not write the full middle name of her parents on her birth certificate so it ended up just being one letter period and then the full last name so now the the one who who was processing our application at the german embassy a very nice lady very kind she she was dutch i think she was not german she was dutch <laughs> but anyway you know how how germany is and bureaucracy so she just told us that she'll take in the the application since we had everything but just to be sure because she doesn't want us to apply for this and then um, for it to fail because of one paper and then because of one letter she thought she said she personally doesn't think it will be an issue but it might be in germany because you know the full name is not exactly the same it's not identical because like i said in the senomar it's written out in full and then on the birth cert it's just one letter the, the first letter of the middle name period and then last name um if that makes sense to you so anyway we did that we sent our we, we apply for a new Senomar and then instead of having it written in full, we ha we did it the way it was written on her birth cert, just with the, you know, first letter period like that. And we sent it in via courier service because we didn't want to drive all the way back to Makati since we live in we lived in Tagaytay. Um, we sent it in and then the courier even called us when they were in makati and they asked okay we're standing here where should we exactly drop it off and then we said in the german embassy and then they said they they gave it to the front desk of the german embassy and that everything was fine so we thought that that was it we're just going to wait now so now six months had passed by and then we still hadn't received anything about a marriage registration in germany when we already have, you know, the visa, booked the flight, we're already about to head, you know, to Germany. And our marriage is still not registered in Germany. So I'm still wondering why is that? And then once we reach Germany, you know, I said, fine, maybe they're just taking longer than usual, you know, COVID and all. I just contacted now the, um, the Standesamt in Germany. That's the civil office. And they said they had not received anything when in the german embassy in the philippines in manila they told us 
after they you know they process the application they will be sending it to the Standesamt in Germany where I live and that the civil office will contact me so I was wondering what's happening it's already almost a year what's you know what's what's the happening <laughs> <laughs> so then I contacted the German embassy in Makati once again and then they told me to our surprise that they haven't processed our application because apparently we did not send in the Senomar. What? And they're still waiting for it. I'm like, what? That was so strange. So anyway, what happened was, so now we have already spent money on two Senumars, you know, the first one that we applied for. Then the second one that was brought by curry, curry, uh, courier, but didn't reach them for whatever reason. We then, you know, it was a lot of back and forth and then we even contacted them and turns out somebody accepted it at the front desk, even signed for it. But for some reason, it was never brought up. Or sent to the right person anyway whatever happened happened um, and there was no reason of debating and fighting over it so now we're here in Germany and now we had to apply for another Senomar in the Philippines so that it can be sent to the you know to the the German embassy in Makati and we had family members who did it for us and etc is there a long story we had to spend another not, we had to spend again on another Senomar and then it went through I think another six months went by and now the Standesam messaged us and said we received it now for us in order for us to register your marriage here in Germany we have to do a background check on your wife huh and then I was like what what after all of this after all that we had to go through just to apply for them to register okay this is not even about getting married or visa this is simply to register it in the German marriage system because our marriage is legal here with our Filipino marriage certificate I just wanted it to be registered here you know as a German just being safe I just wanted to be in our German system so that whenever we need a an, another additional whatever certificate of our marriage I can just you know get it from here in German uh yeah well that didn't happen and then they want they wanted so much and after you submitted it all and it went through all of the different, you know, stations, now they tell us we we need to make a background check on your wife, which will cost 300 something euros. I think 350. I'm not sure. And I was I was so confused why they needed that. So then I told them the person that I was talking to at the Standesam, but we already went through that background check in order to get married my wife was already checked in the philippines the background check was already done it was you know all went well so we were able to get married she even got already her visa to come to germany she's already living in germany and now they want to do the very same background check and then i asked them why do they need to do this again when we already did it and the response was well your background check was for the marriage license now this is for you to register your marriage here in germany he said yeah but nothing changed she's still the same person whatever we need to submit we already did this so why should we have to do this again and then she said yeah because those are two different applications bureaucracy so then we decided to cancel it. I said, okay, I will no longer register the the marriage here in Germany because, you know, ganz kurz auf Deutsch, ich bin Schwabe und ich glaube auch nicht Schwaben denken, das ist doch voll die Geldabzocke. Das ist schon fast eine Frechheit, finde ich, weil die genau denselben dieselben Background Check machen werden. Dieselben Sachen haben sie einfach nochmal verlangt. Genau die, die, dieselben Sachen, die sie schon durchgecheckt haben und die sie schon bestanden hatten. Wir haben schon dafür bezahlt und es war sogar billiger für die ähm, für das Ehefähigkeitszeugnis waren es damals. Und ich, ich verstehe den Unterschied nicht. Was wird sich jetzt geändert haben? Nichts wird sich geändert haben. Ihre Vergangenheit wird immer noch dieselbe Vergangenheit haben. Sie wird immer noch auf derselben Schule gewesen sein. Sie wird trotzdem noch dort gelebt haben, wo sie gelebt hat, auf den Philippinen. Ihre Eltern werden immer noch ihre Eltern sein. Ihre, Geschw ihre Geschwister sind immer noch ihre Geschwister. Ähm, daran wird sich doch gar nichts ändern. Also 
muss ich ehrlich sagen, meine Meinung, meiner Meinung nach muss da was geändert werden. Wenn man einmal diesen Test gemacht hat, sollte man den nicht nochmal machen müssen, nur um die Ehe hier in Deutschland zu registrieren. Also ich sehe da, seh das wirklich nicht ein. Ja, um, yeah. so we have decided not to register our marriage here in the German marriage system anymore, since, you know, the marriage is valid as long as you have a marriage certificate. We just decided to have our marriage certificate translated and authenticated by a, vom Notar, I just don't know what is the, the English word for that right now, um, notary, yeah. To, for it to be notif, notary, but to be authenticated by a notary, and um, it cost between 50 to 70 euros. It cost even less, less than half of what they want to do. Um, so yeah, my piece of advice for if you have made it this far, after you get married and then you applied for your family visa, um, an alle Deutschen da draußen, die jetzt Filipinos heiraten, ähm, ich würde sagen, versucht es gar nicht erst. Also ich würde gar nicht erst das beantragen, um die Ehe in Deutschland zu registrieren, weil das lohnt sich einfach nicht. Und ähm, ich weiß nicht, ob es nur für Filipinos, wenn, wenn euer Ehepartner ähm, Filipinos, weiß ich nicht, ob es nur für Filipinos ist. Es kann auch sein, dass es für andere Nationalitäten genauso ist. Wahrscheinlich nicht innerhalb der EU, aber wenn es jetzt jemand außerhalb der EU ist, ähm, kann sein, dass die genau dieselben Voraussetzungen haben. Deshalb, ähm, ich finde, es lohnt sich nicht, macht es nicht. Und ich glaube auch ganz ehrlich, die Behörden, die würden sich auch darüber freuen, weil das ist viel Arbeit und ähm, dann müssen die es einfach nicht mehr machen. Ja, um, yeah. so that is the side story for all of my favoritos who are invested and my family. Now you know why we decided not to register our marriage here in Germany since... You know, it's so expensive and the marriage certificate is legal and you are still married by law and it is, it is acknowledged. <sighs> okay, so that was that. Um, again, quick reminder, if you have any questions about any requirements for the family reunion visa, check the German Embassy link. I will link it again also in the comment section for you to click on and then you just read it through, contact them and even though it may be frustrating and seem a lot, remember it is all in the name of love. So if you love your partner, your spouse and you know your family, your German family and you really want to be reunited, then just go through with it. Um, do not give up. And I wish you all the best and a quick and easy processing of your papers. Until then, don't forget to live life a life. And other than that, I wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, a good evening, wherever you may be. See you soon. Adios, Kuman. Cool